Clutches In is going to help him with collection, gathering him up. So he's 16 feet instead of 18. And it helps to collect the canter because it gets the hind end more underneath. Now this, is a, this is a nice frame, keeping the energy. Yep. Right. Yeah, see there, the stride shortened on the 10 meter circle. That's his little way of getting out from using his back. Right, so we just slap him around with the whip, right? Get the, this is good, the haunches are in. Right, then the trees are annoying, okay? So you can always come off the railing, okay? So outside leg, right? Okay, so he's taking the break. Good, keep, so it, when you take the breaks, you can always ask for more trot in between, you know, to practice sending him forward and bringing him back, you know? So our time is maximized, his training is maximized. Right, and then you can try to gather him without shortening the stride. Right, good. Right, good, fine. Right, think about long legs, long under your hips. Good, okay, so, and your right outside leg, whack, whack with the whip. Good girl, this is great, okay, but it could be more, right? What's that thing at the shows? Could be more. <laughs> okay, so when you, if you, do the haunches in here, past me, we'll get a nice rear end view, okay? It's a little bit easier to see it from the hind end. Good, and tap, tap with the whip to keep the, yes, just move your butt into it. Come on, more, there we go, good. Now you gotta fix the front end, okay? Good, and you see you had to work for it. Obviously, and this is when you would ask for a little longer stride. And then you give your little half halt and ease into your sitting trot. And we do it again. He needs to be a little bit straighter, a little less bent right. Yep. And then watch those ears. Now, it really looks like you could lengthen your stirrups a hole. So it haunches in. Yeah. All right. Use your whip. Yes, ma'am. And make sure you keep your little bend to the right. Bend and stretch and haunches in. <laughs> she's she's working good All right now let's come up posting All right so once again as discussed we'll let them stretch down and out when you bring that outside leg back you want to make sure you don't bring that outside rein back too and then it causes the rider to do a counter bend good this is a nice trot and a good stretch Isn't it funny how like you go to the horse show and you know you stretch to perfection and then you can't even get it? That was me. I couldn't even get a damn shoulder in. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put him back up and together and we'll come across the diagonal. We're gonna keep him straight. We're gonna change to the other diagonal. Change, post on your right shoulder and ask for a longer stride. Oh, good, come on, keep it going. Pull is up, pull is up. Right, when the pole comes up, the hind end can come more under. If the pole is down, the hind end can't come under. Good, so we're gonna gear up for some haunches in in this direction. Watch the tilt, watch that he's not looking to the outside when he's bending, supposed to be bending inside. Right, need to bend him left. Position him left. Right, and you're gonna probably have to whack him with the whip to get him to move his butt around your inside leg. Good, get him bending inside. There you go, bending inside. Right, we gotta learn how to use the whip without pulling the hand back. That's okay, good, this is good. All right, a whole, just like the shoulder in, a whole lot of finagling going on. Okay, and then we post and take the break. Making sure he's bending left. Yep, good, and then try to keep our hand, you know, he has a tendency to try to pull you down, right, and we gotta, be riding him up. You can let him go down when you're riding that haunches in to keep him round. Good, good frame. Little position left. Yep, good. Bending left, outside rein forward. Still using the whip to get, yes man, that was, that was a whole lot of haunches in going on there. Good, okay. It's hard to get it all. I mean, you know, I, I never could understand it. We got the 18 foot horse and we're vertical and we're supposed to control both ends of it. Doesn't even make sense, okay? <laughs> I 
but you got a lot more haunches in that time. Yes, that's okay. Do good bending left, bending left, bending him left, bending him inside. There you go, bending him inside right. Because the whole thing, he's supposed to be bending around your inside leg. Good. It's a little, it's a baby one, and he could definitely do more. So let's go ahead, we'll let him go down. Give him a break. Good, he's definitely getting some really nice top line muscles, especially through his neck, where before he had that little skinny, scrawny neck. Yes, good. Yep, I'm liking it. Yeah, and now we're gonna, you should be able to go from this post and trot stretching to sit, walk without him taking that short stride. Don't pull. So obviously we don't like that, okay? So let's just do it again. All right, you should be able to just sit and he should just walk. All right, I'm glad you're seeing this on video because, okay, there. Good. All right, and then we'll throw him away. <laughs> Good. All right.